For some people it's spiders, for some it's dogs, for some it's enclosed spaces, but for me the thing I most fear is the dark. I don't like night time. And in that I think I'm in fairly good company. Most people find the night to be a time of fear and anxiety. My mum used to say there's no good done out of bed after midnight, and I think she had a point. And yet Jesus was born in the night. The Prince of Peace, the promised saviour, the most important event in human history, and yet it happened in complete darkness, at the dead of night, in an obscure stable, in near secrecy. Why? Because by entering into the deepest darkness, Jesus has dispelled darkness with his glorious light. By being born in the night, he's shown that no darkness can overcome the glorious light of God's new day. And it didn't happen only once. Still today, Jesus is born in the night. This Christmas, he will be born wherever there is human darkness. He's being born right now, in the midst of families who are dependent for a happy Christmas on food banks and payday loans. He's being born now, where human dignity is undermined by abuse or neglect or torture or greed or belligerence. He's being born now in Syria, born in the hearts of those who live in fear of terror, born in the persecuted churches of the Middle East and Pakistan and Iraq. Wherever there is doubt, wherever there is pain, wherever there is despair, wherever the night seems to have triumphed, there a baby is being laid in the straw of a manger. For Jesus is born to dispel the darkness with the light of his love. Over a thousand years ago, some monks wrote this prayer as they awaited the feast of Christmas. O morning star, splendour of light eternal and sun of righteousness, come and enlighten those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. This Christmas we rejoice, for the morning star has risen, the dawn has come, the night is dispelled. The child born in the night has scattered the darkness and the gloom, and in him we can be children of light. In the baby Jesus, love has triumphed. That's why we can say, Happy Christmas.